dawn on July 1st revealed a very different scene. The Union Army had reached the James River. U.S. Navy warships offered protection. McClellan's men stopped on an elevation called Malvern Hill and hoped that their foes would unwisely attack. And attack they did. Late in the afternoon, a series of badly coordinated Confederate charges tested the horseshoe-shaped position on Malvern Hill. Federal cannon roared from atop the hill. The divisions of George Morrell and Darius Cooch assisted in crushing the attackers. The carnage continued until sunset. It was a defeat that cost Lee's army 5,000 killed and wounded. The victors left Malvern Hill overnight and the seven days campaign ended.